Hello and welcome back to the most amazing channel on the internet. I'm your host Rebecca Felgate and today we are back talking the top 10 scary stories that will make you question your reality. This time we've got part 4. Yes, 4. You guys are loving this series and we are loving a good old slice of questioning reality. To be honest though, while we think we have a grasp of reality now, 20,000 years ago people believed that solar eclipses were as a result of a sun god eating the moon. So, it goes to show that our perception and understanding of reality is always shifting. Ok, a few things before we get into the video. If you have ever questioned the most amazing reality, then do check out our most amazing Instagram for a behind the scenes look at what life is like here. You can't make segues like that, it's seamless. Our links are in the description box so please do check them out, go over, say hello. I also want to ask you guys to leave me a comment and let me know if you have ever had your own scary glitch in the matrix style stories. Has anything ever happened to you to make you question your reality? Do let me know in the comment section down below and do leave a thumbs up and stick around to the end. I also just want to explain that I've got a massive bandage on my hand. I got a cold taste of my own reality when I picked up my curling iron from the wrong end this morning. so I I know you eagle eyed viewers always pick up on that kind of stuff, so hi, I'm an idiot, it's just one of those days. Shall we start the video? I think we shall. Ok, coming in at number 10 we have the phoenix lights. We have just passed the 22 year anniversary of one of the strangest shared phenomena in American history. In March 1997, between 7.30pm and 10.30pm, thousands of people saw bright lights flying over Nevada, Arizona and North Mexico. Many of the lights appeared in formation. One of the very popular reported sightings was a V shaped object with multiple lights flying through the sky. One witness from Prescott, Arizona known only as JR said, it was totally totally silent. I've never seen anything even close to the colours from the exhaust that propelled that thing. It was as big as downtown Prescott and completely blocked out the stars. The thing is though, the phenomenon was actually spotted by so so many people it's hard to ignore. Some of them were very very credible indeed, for example the Arizona Governor Fife Symington. There have been possible re-emergences of the phoenix lights too, they possibly occurred in 2007 and 2008. So what is going on? What or who is flying by? Is it aliens? Coming in at number 9 we have time stood still. Redditor Crowlazool posted about a time that they managed to make a snack whilst time stood still around them. A year ago they wrote, when I was a teenager I was in my room and decided to go to the kitchen to make a sandwich. I looked at the clock before I left, 6.48pm. Excellent snack time. I went to the kitchen, I made an awesome sandwich, I got some chips and a drink, this probably took me at least 10 minutes. When I walked back into my room, the clock still said 6.48. I stood there for a bit really confused and then it turned to 6.49. Spooky. Now a lot of people in the comments were sharing similar stories and I want to know if this has ever happened to you but more importantly, I want to know what's in the sandwich. I love sandwich chat, I really do, hopefully there was some good cheese. You guys seem to really really like it in previous videos when I shared personal stories with you so I thought I would give you another one at number 8. We have the little girl with asthma. From previous stories I've told you, you may have picked up on the fact that my family is a little bit mystical, they kind of believe in a lot of that stuff. My mum and stepdad definitely believe in the otherworldly as does my nana. My dad on the other hand thinks it's total nonsense so make of that what you will. So when I was young we had a really really horrible car accident and afterwards my mum started going to a psychic. One day she went and it seemed that she got a message from her uncle, my nana's brother Leonard, who died when I was very young. Now uncle Leonard loved his garden, he was always out there planting or digging things up. One day he came through to my mum as a psychic saw a man in his garden wearing a flat cap just like he always did. He looked sad though, rather than being his usual jovial self. When the psychic spoke to him, he said that he was worried today. He was worried about a little girl with asthma. Now I had really bad asthma as a young child, so bad that I had to go to hospital a few times and stay overnight. When Uncle Leonard was alive, he really liked me and he knew that I had asthma. He even came to see me after I'd been in hospital and would give me sweets, which my mum didn't love. At the time that he said that he was really worried about me, I honestly wasn't doing very well. Not because of the asthma, but because my family was having a bit of a horrible time and despite always getting good grades in school, I was struggling and going home at lunchtime and drinking with my friends and I was only 12 so things were pretty bad and my mum never really noticed because things were bad for her too. 
After Uncle Leonard's warning, she focused her attention on me and was able to see for herself that I needed some help. Was this really a well timed message from her dead uncle? If so, what kind of reality are we living in? Okay, so out of the ether and into the kitchen up next, at number 7 we have SpaghettiOs. So this story was posted on Reddit 7 years ago by Project Zeta who said, One time I spilled a bowl of SpaghettiOs and as I was cleaning them, I looked up and noticed that there was one on the ceiling, 9 feet up. I didn't even drop the bowl, I just tipped it onto the counter by mistake, but sure enough, a single O was right there, stuck to the ceiling. So weird. Now this story got nearly 600 upvotes and I don't think I can explain what was going on other than SpaghettiOs broke reality somehow. Maybe the chaos theory gone sky. Coming in at number 6 we have The Wrong Flight. Recently I read a story that reminded me of another story that I read that very much made me suspect that there was some kind of glitch in the matrix. Are you following that? Let me explain. So on the week that I filmed this video, a plane flying to Dusseldorf in Germany accidentally landed in Edinburgh. How does this happen? Now the plane took off from London City Airport and instead of flying east to Germany, it flew north to Scotland, 800 kilometres away. Now the passengers only realised after they touched down. The pilot, it seemed, wasn't actually lost. He was given the wrong flight plan, not for another plane, for his plane. It was just the wrong destination somehow though. Now nobody understood how the error was made, perhaps it was the work of a time wormhole like what allegedly happened in 2009. What happened? Well a plane ended up thousands of miles off course in Santa Cruz, Spain when it had been flying over Santa Cruz in Bolivia, South America. Now it seems that many people were concerned that CERN's particle smashing large hadron collider had somehow opened up and created a time warp. But, like, I don't know about this one. It's the Daily Express, so can we trust this headline? Less of a scary story, more of a scary fact to make you question reality. At number 5 we have We Know More About The Moon Than The Ocean. Now according to NASA we have better maps of the surface of Mars and the moon than we do the bottom of the ocean, which is pretty mental. Don't know if you've ever seen my deep sea creatures list, but ah! Uh, Deep sea fish scare me. More than 80% of our ocean is unmapped, unobserved and unexplored. Imagine what deep sea creatures are lurking down there, oh my goodness. Now the ocean takes up 80% of the earth, so with these stats, much of our world is still an absolute mystery to us. While we have made a few trips to the deepest section, the Mariana Trench, 11,000 meters or over 36,000 feet down, there could be all manner of things in the sea that we have no idea about. They could be lurking out of sight and I would say a Imagine, but also maybe don't, let's just all sleep soundly tonight. Another reddit story up next at number 4 for you we have the answer phone. Imagine hearing your own voice on an answer phone message. But the you that recorded was a you from an alternate reality. This seemed to be what happened to redditor kill all extremists and blimey what a username. They wrote I called my friend up and he wasn't home so I left a message on his answering machine. I said hey it's me, sorry I miss you, call you later bye. That was it, I hung up and left the house. I made no other calls. Later that day he called me back and said wow that was quite a message you left, who was that girl you were talking to? I was like what are you talking about? I wasn't talking to any girl. Well as it turns out the message I left didn't end after I said bye. I even had to go over to his house and listen to the message a few times to even believe him. After my initial message that I did record there was a slight pause and it continues for another 30 or 40 seconds with me talking to some girl. It's like I forgot to put my phone down, it was my voice, but it was a conversation I never had with a girl whose voice I didn't recognise. It was definitely my voice, also I made references to my occupation and activities that were the same. Basically in this conversation I was talking to this girl about going skiing but I had to go down to my shop and work on a car first which totally correlated to me. Then the message just stopped. It was very freaky, I can't explain it. They then added TLDR, I may have connected to an alternate universe through a telephone answering machine. Honestly, I think maybe you did. I'm calling alternate reality on this, like alternate reality for definite. Ooh, I feel like you guys are gonna love this. It's the most amazing top 10 favourite, but we haven't talked about it in a while. Coming into number three, we have the man from Tored. 
This is a very scary story that comes from 1954 when a smart looking man was detained at the Japanese border. Now he had just arrived on a plane from Europe to Hadena airport. The man said that he was on his third business trip to Japan that year and he had a wallet filled with a mixture of currencies seeming to verify his business traveller status. However, when he presented his passports, officials were absolutely baffled. Asking where he was from, the man spoke in French and he said he was from Torod. He showed his passport again and stamps that supported his travels, the only thing is that no one had ever heard of Torod. Torod is not a place, they don't have passports, it doesn't exist. Beyond that, he was carrying a checkbook to a non-existent bank. The company he was travelling to visit said that they would actually never heard of him, despite him insisting that he did business with them. When he was asked to point out to Rod on the map, he pointed to where Andorra is today and he seemed confused and offended to be told that his country was not a real country. Now He was detained in a hotel overnight whilst Japanese authorities decided what to do with him. He didn't seem threatening, but he obviously wasn't who he said he was. When they came to collect him in the morning, he disappeared. Did he accidentally fly through a portal into our universe and how did he manage to get back? Honestly, this one is super baffling. I definitely recommend doing some of your own reading around it because the story is crazy. Coming in at number 2, we have the man at Yellowstone. Have you ever seen a person and met their eye and felt something strange? What would you then do if you saw them again somewhere completely different? Now, The man at Yellowstone story really did freak me out when I read it. This is what reddit poster parrot tamer had to say. At 12 12 years of age, my mum used to let me stay in the truck as she went grocery shopping. As I waited, I see an old guy walking towards me with an indescribable look, as if I know too much. He stopped around 5 feet away from the truck and looked me directly in the eye for a couple of seconds and then headed back the exact way he came. It was a rather traumatic experience and very confusing for the age 5 to 6. Some years later, my dad was showing me home videos of us at Yellowstone National Park. Now, at Old Faithful, I noticed the same guy, the same look, the same clothes peering at us on camera and at me through the TV. I'm freaked out even telling this. Whoa, now everyone who read it was freaked out too because this story received 1.5 thousand upvotes, and honestly, I feel like this could be made into a movie. Finally, at number one, Elon, what are you doing here? We have Elon Musk and the Matrix. So how would you feel if I told you that you're living in a simulated reality? You'd say, Rebecca, what the Keanu are you chatting about? But honestly, hear me out. It seems that Elon Musk and other high profile science loving billionaires think that we are actually living in a simulating reality and they're paying big bucks to try and break us out. It seems that the tech mogul thinks that there is just a billion to one chance that we aren't in a simulated reality. It seems that this could be linked to a strange rock face in Peru, Amaru Maru, which locals first nations believe is a doorway to immortal life. They often see people appearing and disappearing there. Is this the entrance to the the matrix or is the matrix just in our mind? Ok guys, that was an epic video, I only have time to read a couple of comments from part 3 if not the editors will kill me for giving them such a mammoth video to edit so here goes, this is what you had to say about scary stories that will make you question your reality part 3. Jaden Raymond said, after Rebecca mentioned the story with her friend Hayley, I got a message from my friend Hayley, spooky, very spooky, I'm gonna check my phone after this and see if my friend Hayley messaged me. A lot of you guys said that you have experienced the phenomenon where you've heard your name being called, including Katie Davis, who said, I've heard my name being called multiple times in my life, but the most recent time it happened, I'm 110% sure it was from sleep deprivation, because at the time I was working two jobs and only getting an hour of sleep every day for a month. Honey, I understand, honestly the hustle is real, I feel you because I have like a hundred jobs too, but you need more than one hour of sleep, you need like a minimum of seven, so please, please, please try and get some more sleep. Although. Maybe when we're sleep deprived we have like a mental portal to a different reality. Or maybe we're just going mental. Speaking of, I really think it's time for me to end this video, so thank you very much for watching. Please do leave any alternate reality stories or glitch in the matrix stories you might have in the comment section down below. And don't forget to check out our reality by heading over to the most amazing Instagram. There are links to all of our Instagrams in the description box. Please do leave me a thumbs up and like I hope your hand's doing better than mine today. I'm gonna give it a good wave if I say goodbye. Goodbye. Bye.